In this video, I'm going to show you how to create interactive stake column chart with dual data label mean you can see percentage as well as you can see actual value along with this how to display the total over the stake column. So I'm going to teach you each and everything in this video. The first thing we simply need to copy this whole data set, hit Ctrl C and I will insert a new blank sheet. Simply click here, hit Ctrl V to paste my data. In this case, I will increase the width of the column a little bit more and I will also increase the height of the cell. The next thing, I will simply select all of my data sheet, click on insert, click on recommended chart, click all chart, stake column chart. In this case, I will choose this layout and simply hit OK. I will move this chart a little bit to the right side and increase the height and width of my chart. For the design perspective, I will choose this design. But in this design, I will click on grid line and simply hit delete key. And for the chart title, you can simply type the chart title as well, whatever you like. But I will select the chart title, click here, equal, and I will select the actor cell and simply hit OK. So this is how we can connect the chart title with the cell. The next thing I will click on home and I will decrease the font size to 14 and I will choose the same color and I will make it unbold. The next thing I will right click on any of the series format data series and for the gap width I will choose 50% and simply hit OK. And now I will right click format chart area and simply click on chart properties and we will click don't move our size with cell. So what is the benefit of this? If we increase the height of the cell, the chart will be not affected. Now we need to copy this whole table again, hit Ctrl C and I will click here, hit Ctrl V and we need to calculate the percentage first. So how to calculate the percentage? I will select the entire data set and simply hit delete key. I will write a very simple formula equal sum open parenthesis select the entire column and hit F4 key to log the reference. But this is absolute reference and if I hit F4 key again this will log my row reference. Simply close parenthesis and hit enter. And now I will simply drag this formula to the bottom side and also I will drag the formula to the right side. So this is how we calculate the total for the entire column in each of the cell. I will click on C14 cell and simply click here slash which actually mean a divide. And I will click again on C6 and simply hit enter. This is how we calculate the percentage, but this is not in person format. I will click here a percentage and this is how we can display the percentage. And now if I drag this formula to the bottom side and to the right side, this is how we calculate the percentage. But we need to improve this formula a little bit more and we need to show the value as well as the percentage. So I will simply select all of this formula and hit ctrl x to cut this formula so keep this in mind we will hit ctrl v later when we default the whole formula so i will write a very simple function text join open parenthesis for the delimiter i will use character 10 which actually align break hit comma for the ignore parameter i will simply write true and for the text one i will simply use a text function open parenthesis what is the video i will click the first value which is actually c6 hit comma and for the format i will use dollar hash comma hash hash quotation mark again close parenthesis and if i select the entire function this is how we will get our output result okay i will hit comma and i will use text function again open parenthesis now i will hit ctrl v so this is how we calculate the percentage and hit comma for the format i will use quotation mark 0, 0.0 and i will use percent symbol quotation mark again close parenthesis for text function and close parenthesis for text join function and simply hit enter 
now if i click on this cell and simply click warp text and increase the height of the row you can see it properly displaying the value along with the percentage but i think better we can also put parentheses before and after the percentage so i will simply improve this formula and i will simply write open parentheses here and also close parentheses within a text function and simply hit enter now you can see this look perfect we need to drag this formula to the bottom side and also i will drag the formula to the right side if i click all of the rows and increase the height of the row you can see properly display the number as well as the percentage the next thing we simply select these data labor on our chart so i will click on quarter one for now and i will click here data label more data label options and this window will be appear for now i will click value from sale and i will select the quarter one all of the sale hit ok and i will uncheck the value and show later line so this is how we get the quarter one result click on quarter two click value from sale and select the quarter two range uncheck the value and show later line and i will do the same process for the next two quarter now our chart is almost ready the next thing we need to properly display the total over stay column so how you can display this one for now i will write total here and i will use a very easy sum function open parenthesis and i will select the entire sin and drag this formula to the right side and i will do a little bit formatting for this one as well and now i will write a dummy series here so i will simply write dummy and i will assign one value to each of the cell now i will click on my chart and click chart design select data click add and for the series them i will select the total and i will remove everything here and i will choose my dummy series instead of my total series and simply hit ok and hit ok now you can see it will create a new series on the top of my stake column i will click on format and simply select my total series from here and now i will click on plus icon data label more data label options and i will click value from cell and i will select my actual total in this case simply hit ok and off the value and show later line click on label position and we need to simply assign inside base i will change the font color of my data label to let's say black and i will increase the font size let's say 14 data point I will close each and everything and almost our chart is ready now you can simply hide these cities if you want you can simply hide the total as well what is happening here everything is gone so don't be confused simply click on the chart click chart design select data hidden and empty cell and simply check this one and hit ok and simply hit ok and i hope you learned something useful from this video